Today, let's look at handwriting. I've got a really good tip for you. You're gonna to wanna to stick around. I've got five by five graph ruled paper. I have a Pilot G2 pen. You want one that won't smear and that glides smoothly. The graph paper makes a really nice template for consistency of your spacing and your letter size and your quality and your legibility. Let's take a look closer. <clears throat> I always recommend that you start with a date across the top and that way you can track your progress and stay encouraged. You can use it to write your to-do list daily or your grocery list. Creates a nice template for spacing between your words and between your letters for improving your legibility and your sizing and your letter formation. You can use either one square for the letters like I did here in grocery, imagining sort of a halfway line for the smaller size letters, or you could use two vertical lines, or you can use two vertical squares to create your capital letters and to reach for those descending lowercase letters that reach down below, or for those ascending lowercase letters that reach up above. You can use it for your numbers as well. You can track your progress with your alphabet and how you're doing each day with that. You can write a letter to a friend. You certainly can work on a lot of pre-writing strokes. You'll see a lot of exercises out there for those, for tracing, for making waves, circles, staying within that square for practicing your letter control. But most importantly, write those words and write those letters because they combine all of these anyway, and that's the best way to practice in improving your legibility.